Welcome back, my gays and lesbians, and if you're straight, hi. Um, today's gonna be a different type of video. Very close to my heart, though. Extremely close to my heart. Disclaimer. It's gonna be one of those videos where I rent and vent and talk and talk. I try not to make it too long, though. However, I'm just gonna. I want to give you guys a little bit of insight about. Um, what's been going on how everything's been going i was very skeptical to make the video at first for obvious reasons as i go along you understand why um but let's just just go into it so me i was an extremely ignorant person before this whole thing i was extremely extremely ignorant and i say that because i was one of those people who you know, when people come to me and talk to me about their mental health or their or, or their depression or their anxiety or whatever they're going through, I was one of those people who feel like, come on, man, your life is your life, you know. If you want to be happy, you'll be happy. If you don't, you don't. You have anxiety, breathe, nigga. What the fuck's wrong with you? Um, I was one of those people, and I genuinely feel so stupid, right? It's not that I didn't take mental health seriously it's just i thought it wasn't i didn't know how much it could affect a person and how much of themselves it can take or how much of your character it can shape do you understand so it was one of those things and i was like that for the longest time for the longest time i but i try not to beat myself up right now because you know, I was speaking to someone close to me and they said, without even realizing this stuck, without them realizing that this is something that's going to stick to me, they said, um, you don't, you don't understand what it's like to be in your head until you're in your head, until you're stuck in your own head, right? And it's like that. It is like that. It's now I know. And I'm glad I know. I'm three minutes in the video and I'm ranting about something that's... It's annoying to me. My thought process, how I thought, how I... How, it's annoying to me. It's annoying to me today. But, it's whatever. If I could say just one thing in this video that could make someone feel a little bit better. My life is... I'm done. I'm done. For the whole, I don't know, year. I'm done. If... If someone DMs me and says, you said this, and it changed my whole perspective of everything, then I'm done for the year, guys. I did what I needed to do. Like, I'm so, I'd be so proud of myself. I'd be so proud of myself. I'm going to start off with how everything started for me. Um, so, I lived my life for the longest time, most of my life, all of my life, rather, just before a month ago. I... I lived my life so carelessly. I'm a very spontaneous and impulsive person and that's how I choose to live my life and that's how I was living my life for the longest time and it, it resulted in me not being very much in touch with my emotions because I didn't want to deal with negativity. I didn't want to feel negativity. I didn't want to be... It affected me in relationships even because if I felt like you were constantly unhappy or you were constantly being negative, then I felt like that relationship wasn't for me as a whole. And that's 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 how I was living my life. Because I was, one, ignorant, we've established. Two, I genuinely love my life. And I'm a happy person. And I love being around happy people. And I feel like for the most part, it was because of that. Um, so, yeah going through my life like this then resulted in me ignoring certain things not ignoring rather but not giving them as much time and emotion as i needed to give them for example the, the 2018 2019 2018 was the hardest year of my life because of certain things and what i say hardest year of my life but i dealt with those things in a period of a week or rather less 
probably a couple of days. I took only a couple of days to deal with those things that made it the hardest year of my life and I was done with it because how I think and how I went through things is I'm wasting time. If I'm constantly gonna be going back and forth about something that I cannot change, then I'm wasting time. So therefore, I'm not giving myself enough time to deal with certain emotions and that was not right. Because a month and a half ago, guys, when I say this thing slowly crept up on me, I am 20 something years old and let's say 20 years or rather or maybe like 19 or 18 of my years of things that I should have dealt with came crashing in they they came crashing in and when I say crashing in I mean crashing in I forgot my train of thought because had to attend to someone i always forget to put my phone on airplane mode when i do this but it's whatever so i'm guessing i was at a point where like okay i was saying everything just came back everything just came back flooding when i say a flood i mean a flood it's like um I, I felt it creeping in i know i felt it creeping in I felt it and I felt it because certain things, I was handling certain things differently than I normally would. Like things in my relationship, I I wasn't being the best person I can be for my partner. I wasn't, I don't know, I just, I just felt like there was less of everything inside me. What I mean by that is happiness. There was less of that inside me that I would usually have. Um, patience, there was a lot less um, understanding and kindness there was a whole less um, everything there was a whole lot less inside me than I would normally have and it just resulted in even my besides relationships like my friendships my 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 family my family everything it was just every everyone around me at that point in time if you couldn't tell then you but everyone around me at that time i bet could feel that i had nothing to give or at that time a lot less to give i was avoiding my thoughts for years 18 years so can you imagine when everything comes back how it must feel i I remember there was a day and I'm sitting and I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm I'm laying in my bed I'm on my phone and I was just overwhelmed with so much emotion and that's when I knew this is what they talk about when people say I had an episode when people say I'm stuck in my head when people say those things I knew exactly what they meant I'm speaking in pieces so during this time everything comes creeping in and when everything eventually creeps in I was at my friend's place and I will remember waking up that morning and I couldn't say what was wrong with me but it was dark that's the only way I could describe it it was dark it was dark wherever I was wherever I mean in my mind in my head whatever wherever I was in my mind and in my head I never want to go back I never want to go back and I stayed in that place for a month and a half the first couple of days were hell basically and I in that first couple of days I experienced two minor panic attacks well the first one wasn't as minor as the second one but I experienced that and when those things happen when those attacks happen they start up here they start up here I am the most hardest person on myself when I don't get what I want or when I don't achieve what I want to achieve or if I'm not where I need to be I obsess over it I I obsess over it I obsess it's constant my mind cripples me it feels like every 
my mind is trying to the nazel man you understand that's how it feels so for me at that time there was a lot that i wasn't getting that i wanted there was a lot that i needed that i couldn't just give myself because it wasn't up to me to give the thoughts in my head were dark i wish i could share but it's too intense but yeah i can't breathe i can't i can't think of anything else but this thought in my mind that's crippling me i want to share way more than i can i do but i won't because we don't overshare this side um yeah so i went through that i was i, I realized that okay my mental health is there's a problem there's a problem and that's the first step right it's knowing and during this time i found a coping mechanism which wasn't the best thing to do because well it's okay to get coping mechanisms i mean that's how i cope on a daily right now but that particular one then was not the brightest idea of course i smoked of course i smoked on a daily didn't eat just smoked um and that on its own is a depressant and when you get off a high any depressant high you crash so it constantly happened and i realized that wasn't working for me and then i stopped that um tried to for the most part and then i and then i coped using someone and then i coped using someone i made someone my coping mechanism and it wasn't even something that I, 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 I knew I was actively doing. I think it was mostly because, first of all, she's an empath. Amazing. Like, yo, she's just, she's just an empath, like, to the core. Uh, second of all, she's extremely warm. Yo, extremely warm. Third of all, um she 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 knows a vulnerable side of me that no one now people know some more of people more of the people around me know but she, at the time not a lot of people knew maybe two people knew that side of me but she knew that and it was easier for me to use her because I never had to explain what I'm feeling. Like I said, empath to the core. When I say, guys, do not do that. Do not do that. I mean it. You can't use someone as your coping mechanism because they cannot, their life cannot stand still for you their life literally can't be you they also have emotions they have to deal with they also have things they need to my point is they have them to deal with they can't deal with them and you so i feel like i wanted too much of that person and it's not like she didn't care for that she did she was there for me my god I'd tell that person, listen, I'm, I, I need to talk to you when I wake, wake up, because if I don't, then, well, it's fucked. But, guys, it was wrong, but she would do it. She would call me in the morning when she can, which was most of the time. And she would give me what I needed and then would then go about her day. Um, it's not like she was there for me. Like, it's not like she was there for me, like there for me. She was there for me like everyone else 
was there for me because she wasn't physically there for me. It's like, it was, it's not like she was there for me, man. Mm -mm. She wasn't like there for me. She was checking up on me like anyone else, which my friends were checking up on me. She was checking up on me like my friends would check up on me, but nah, mm, nah. Because I gravitated towards her warmth, I put her up there. I'm like, you know what, without this person, we cannot cope. And you know what, it worked until it didn't. Because I don't think she realized to what extent I needed her. And I needed her to put certain things on hold. And she didn't put certain things on hold. She, like I said, wasn't there for me, you know? And when I realized, obviously if I'm gonna, it's like smoking, you start and then I need more. And then I need you to myself. And when I realized that's at the point that I was at, that's when I knew no. I saw it. I used her and for the period that I used her and my God, did she not quiet my demons? My God, did she not quiet my demons? She went shh. My mental health for a month and a half was shit. Misery. But then, when I told myself that, listen, eh, this thing that you're struggling with, that you don't understand, that you've never felt in your life, and I'm also talking to you, this thing, this pain, this heavy, don't run away from it. Don't hate it. Just don't. Don't avoid it. Take it in. Embrace it. Feel it. And overcome it. That's the only way out. I've, I'm better. I am. I'm better. And I have coping mechanisms that work for me, healthy ones, like spending time with my family. Yo, my mom, my mother, my mom, she makes me so happy. And she doesn't actively do it, you guys, just by her being around me. And my friends. My friends, yo, I am so grateful, my friends. And when I say my friends, I don't mean 10, 11, mm -mm. three, four people, three, four, I'm saying four in case I forgot, but I can only think of three, <laughs> but three, four people, I'm talking about three, four people. The amount of happiness they bring in my life is incredible and they don't even know it. V, my guy. I am putting myself first. I am being so selfish. I am being so selfish. One of the things that cause us to be in here, and I mean in here in the darkest way possible, is the people that we surround ourselves with. You have friends that expect too much of you. You have your family, you have school, you have, yo, there's so many things that you're expected to take on that I promise you, if you narrow them down to just people, the people that you put, you surround yourself with and the situations you put yourself in must be situations that don't require something you cannot give. They must be situations that just want you. Your friends must not have certain expectations. Your partner, my God, my relationship is a pits. My, I have nothing to give relationship Kali. I have just myself and me putting myself first is hindering it's yo, my love life but you know what guys people who love you will understand I've always put myself first but now the level of putting myself I'm at is dangerous it is dangerous because I'm not willing to compromise my peace for nothing. 
do not compromise your peace for nothing. And I'd do anything for peace. Walk. I'd cut my leg today for peace. If peace was sold, I would sell my kidney to buy peace. And that's how desperate I am for it. And that's how I'm not willing. I am not willing to have things in my life that's gonna take it away from me because I don't wanna go back there. I've been talking, I've been ranting, and if, if you have come this far, and if you're still watching, then my God, you're an OG. This video is not made for numbers. This video is not made for paper. I'm gonna get paid, but it's not made for paper. It's made for me, for you, for anyone who needs to hear anything. And from me to you, my guy, I would rather hear you out than for you to struggle on your own and fight a battle that is beyond you. So DM me. Let's talk about it. I, like I said, I'm getting better, but I'm not there yet. And I know that I'm not there yet because I've been avoiding God. Yeah. That's how I know that I'm still going through it. I've been avoiding God a lot. I can't pray. Um, but we'll get there. Day by day. Plus I'm broke. Being broke, it cannot be good for your mental health. Yo, yeah, nah, it's not good for my mental health. Being broke is not good for my mental health. I am broke because when I was going through this thing, I wasn't working the way that I should have. I wasn't taking videos the way that I should have been, like I normally do. So didn't make any money out of that. So yeah, I'm broke. I feel like I'm going to buy in a better place until it's been mal. But we're working on it. I'm not pushing myself at all. I'm also avoiding things that I also I used to do like when I at my worst when I was at my lowest I used to like just you know get busy work 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 chase ambitions that was me avoiding my emotions and I'm avoiding certain things like that now yeah and this year has actually not turned out the way that it that I thought it would I still haven't made something of myself I'm still in the same place as I was last year and that I hate that I need growth every single year and I'm still in the same place that I was last year but if I think about that too much it will cripple me too so I try to think of this year as year of emotional growth yeah a year of emotional growth because wow if I focus on the fact that I've I haven't done much then I will cry I will never be okay yeah so I'm avoiding certain things that I do I'm avoiding having sex for the heck of it and just feeling good I'm avoiding you know I'm avoiding just my highs things that keep me up there that I shouldn't be doing I'm avoiding all of that um, going out a lot yeah I, I've made a decision to show up for myself in all ways possible and I'll never stop showing up for myself and you need to show up for yourself do what you need and what you want and what makes you feel better because you need that I'm so glad I got to share this with you guys and um, I have on lighter news, on lighter news, I have exciting ass content coming up. You, you. I have amazing content coming up. I hope it works out in my favor, but I'm really excited about it. And it's gonna take this channel to a whole new direction. Very nice one. It's not too far-fetched for me. Still, still about this girl who is a lesbian and uh, who goes around uh, living life like he. With multiple girlfriends, see, that's most how that's what you guys say. Most. Like, comment, and subscribe.